Hello everyone, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Winston Cost Coaching Carousel Series here in NCAA 12. Yes, Winston Cost is back here on this on this channel. And oh, better turn this down because I was watching main event. Main event which Natalia lost thanks to Tamina. I'll take it back. Tamina a Natalia won but disqualification, so my heart goes out to Natalia. Just and that's not good for a Tyson kid too, because he lost to Justin Gabriel. Well, actually, I'm thinking this could, Justin pushed Tyson and Justin as a tag team, but that's just me personally. But in this episode, we got we the Rice Owls are taking on the Union Jacks. Okay, no, 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 they're taking on the Memphis Tigers, who are doing way better than them in real. <laughs> Which hold on, I wanna. You know what? Actually, I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious here. Okay, go on my app. I missed two calls from Eric. Yeah, one of these days we may get to do Eric in the. Still on the WWE app. Sports Central. Okay, one moment, guys. I do apologize. Okay. More sports. Excuse me. Football. NCAA, FBS Conference, Conference USA. Okay, let's take a look here. Marshall six and three. Marshall six and three. Why is that? A, and why is Tulsa doing so lousy? Yeah, Marshall's going to a bowl game. That's really sad. And speaking of sad, remember my top opponent in my U when I was with UAB? Um, uh, yeah. Look at the record. Oh, at nine and. They're taking on the three and six, so all I have to say about that is go out. And my UAB Blazers are doing as well. They're two and seven. They're taking on the seven and two East East Carolina. So yeah, <laughs> don't like my chances. Actually, hold on. So what's UAB taking on next week? Oh, they're taking on Rice and they're they're six and three. <laughs> oh man. Whoops. Stupid app. I want to see who the. Let's see how. Let's track UAB's progress in, re, in regular. Excuse me. Jeez. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Princess. Excuse me. Jeez. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see. Old Dominion lost East Carolina. Big surprise. Let's see what the record is right. Oh, well, actually, well, in the video game, they're independent, so let's take a look at Old Dominion's record right now, because, well, no, no, not baseball. Football, NCAA, FBS, Independence. Oh, wow! Old Dominion's doing very good, 7-3. and three. And they got the Campbell fighting... Animals. Hmm. Weird. Who do they got next? They got North Carolina. Okay, so we're really close on schedule, and they're four and five, so they're gonna be tough. And speaking of just as pathetic, look who Florida Atlantic's taking on next week. The one and nine New Mexico State Aggies. Yeah, they're absolutely terrible. And I feel bad for Idaho. Idaho next week. They got Idaho. They got Florida State. My team. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, let's get to the game. I do apologize, I'm just checking. Here now, with the uniform set, we're just going to go with our home set here. Because so far, my luck with Memphis was 50-50. Both of them with UAP, but with a team like this, we're going to have some uh, mediocre contests here. Uh, if you guys want to see Jesse Lucas and San Diego State, well... You got good luck because they're coming up next as well. And then we're going to dive right into the Attitude Era of WWE 13 because guess what? If you guys haven't played the uh, WWE 2K14, the Attitude Era, uh, Attitude Era match setting is four matches only. Which, if you guys are asking my opinion, that's really disappointing because they got good matches in, that, in the Attitude Era at WrestleMania. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Nessler and helping me call this one is Kirk Herbstreit. And Aaron Andrews also 
Alright, we're going to start that up today as well. Today's college football action is brought to you by Nisa, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We'll see the Memphis Tigers and the Rice Owls. Oh, here we go for the Rice Owls. We know Winston's probably going to get fired. <laughs> so the big question is, what school is he going to go to replace him with? Here come the Owls. And here come the Owls. Ugh. Hard to believe we're nearly three quarters... Almost halfway through the season already. This intense season continues, and we've got what should be a great game coming your way. For Rice, they'll be up against a defense that features an elite defensive end. And we gotta look out for Chris Hall of Memphis from Saks, Alabama. Really? So we're gonna receive. Oh, here we go. Let's get started. Here, we're going to start off with the four verticals the, in the bathroom. Yeah. So, here we go. We got Chris Al Higgins here, who will be going, oh, which will he, who will, he will make that jump to WWE to Madden 25, and already he's got it. He already got picked off. Good job. Thankfully, they screwed up, so. So, who knew Al was not the sharpest? In this yet, and here we're giving it to our best player, JJ Cooper, who got one yard. But actually, our chances of making an actual bowl game just probably went out the table because if we win the next few, next, the next like five games, oh, don't you dare, 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 don't you dare. Oh, it's just a normal motorcycle driver. Good. And there you see. Good throw to right. And that's going to be a first down for Rice. That's what I like to see. Okay, here we go. Slant play. There's no way he's going to get intercepted. Al's going to throw it right. And there's a nice throw to Rivera. That's going to be a first down for the Owls. Because don't forget, we got... You got a couple of teams that are below 500 on our roster. Well, and, I, and I'm saying that because I didn't check before recording. And there's J.J. Cooper. Got his second and seven. Well, it's a shame uh, that uh, Old Dominion can't make a bowl game because, well, they're probably playing Old Dominion. Oh, oh, you masked like seven times. Uh-oh. If it's on them... Is that, is, that means the interception's allowed. Oh, great. We just helped their call. Oh. Oh, it's on them. But, but the interception still counts. Stock on it. So Al is not having a good start so far. And why am I saying he hasn't been on? He hasn't been seeing any action in months. So honestly, I can't blame him. I can't. I could blame him though because that was quite an easy catch. And I know Winston Cost is probably looking forward to getting the heck out of here. So, and oh, there's Tally! What a move by Tally! Touchdown, Rice! Oh, what a move! Look at this. We thought it was gonna get taken down. Nope. <laughs> Nope. On 41, it's like, oh, doggone it. Now I'm going to be on the cheap show. That's right, you're going to be on the cheap show. And Winston is trying to figure out. This drive will start at the 15 yard line. First and 10. Rice up seven. Here comes the Owls. Here comes the Owls. Here comes the Owls. Here comes the Owls. Here comes the and that's going to be incomplete, and that was kind of my fault because I chose a crappy play. <laughs> and don't worry guys, tomorrow we will have more Road to Glory and more WWE 13 over the limit. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, pick it up, pick it up, thank you. Third and 22, crap, Hail Mary. Let's 
see? Good throw. Good throw. Tally. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Doggone it. Doggone it. Well, we move up. Yeah, but I think we may have just got screwed. Well, we move up, but we don't get the first down, which sucks. But, well, we got this, though. Tally, first down for the Owls. Yeah, you're telling me, and oh, there's a good throw to Brown, and that's going to be a first down for the Owls, and that could just about do it for the first quarter. Score 7 nothing. could be 21 nothing. but Owls threw two picks. And also, since I have NCAA 14, the schools that are off limits, well, they're now no longer off limits. So if, say, Coast Cost wants to go to a school like uh, Notre Dame, Miami, Notre Dame, Michigan, Michigan State, now he can't. But it, ha but I extremely doubt it because, well, there's certain characters in NCAA 14. I want the coaches to go be after the players, so. There's a slimmest of chance of not, uh, not that happening. And there you see bath throw almost picked off for a third time. So, so far it's been a low scoring game. So let's see how can... And there's your good throw to Patterson. First down for the Rice Owls. So don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna speed these two up, kind of like I did with I did with UAB. We're gonna do daily episodes. Okay, I'll take it back. It's not gonna be daily episodes. Every once in a while. So this will follow the Phoenix Wright Marathon. Which I have the next character lined up. And there's JJ Cooper. Way to go. Touchdown Owls. And I'll take it back. We may get two Ice Owls to join in us in WWE 13. Except JJ's going to take a while. Because guess what? He's a junior. So we won't be seeing him. And guys, put your shoe. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, one of them was a girl. I thought they joined them. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on the air. This is not the cheap show. And oh, wait a minute. Look at this throw to the tight end. Oh, bad mistake. And he got picked off for a third time. Bob Saget. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Third time you screwed up. You better replace him. Oh, you mean the policy. Oh, great. And, well, actually... Uh, actually, the reason why I am not doing this, and by the way, I'm checking out the injury report here. As you can see, our defense is probable. Well, Memphis, they got, oh, man, two out for the seasons. One of them's a, one of them's a sophomore, so that's Mike Williams. Then we got Jeff Howard, their quarter, redshirt quarterback. They got Oliver Clark, who's out for the game, and a junior. So that these two will be back. Well, he's out for the game, which is kind of sad. But take a look at where Al Higgins' replacement is. a 68. So, basically, I'm not liking the odds. So, let's keep throwing those Al's pick, those picks, Al. And also, my third coach will not come today. It will come Saturday, so don't worry. And it actually is coming from a scrap recording for this game. So there you see. Oh, almost a third touchdown right there. Nice job. 
No. That's going to hurt our chances. And there you see, good throw to Brown, touchdown Rice. And now it is 20 to nothing. Boom! Good work. Oh! Thank you, Rice, for screwing up big time. Thank you, Memphis, for screwing up. And I see. Oh! That would have been huge! There's JJ. So here we go. Al trying to make the pass. Oh no! We gotta take a field goal, so Memphis has to be happy with that. So that means they can they trimmed our deficit. So it's 24 to 14. Because I do not want to lose to Memphis twice. And he slept and great. Oh, actually, that was kind of a good move. Only to be dropped. Thank you. And actually, I don't think it's that phrase is in this game. And look at J.J. Cooper. Jeez. J.J. Dude, way to go. And actually, now that you think of it, the jersey number two. Well, that will be in his WWE 2K14 attire, but in his uh, NFL attire when I put him in. I gotta need the time to think some numbers. So if you guys have any number suggestions for uh, J for JJ Cooper, type it in the comments. Oh, by the way, how, how does it feel now that how, how much is it stuck now that you need Google Plus to comment on my videos? Which means my comments numbers are gonna go down. But what am I saying? There's a guy that told me to shoot myself just because I like Fondango. And actually, now that you think of it, I may need to think about uh, possibly either giving him a, a red card for that. Now that you think about it. There's your good throw to Patterson. First down! So, red zone, we're really been perfect. So, here we go. There's a good throw to right, and that's another touchdown. And so far, it's been really good for the Rice Owls, but but Memphis is not going away. So it's still a 10-point deficit. So if it was another touchdown instead of that pick, we would the game would have been close to out of reach. But luck did not go out, go as Wistic cost has to be feeling the pressure now because this is a this is a a team that has one more win than us. So if we send them to two and four and we're like five minutes away from another victory over Memphis, so last chance for the Owls because otherwise the Owls has a chance here and good job and. We don't take advantage. Great. So we went three and out. Went three and out. Ooh, um, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I appreciate that. Oh, now we just have to kill the clock here, because... And look at JJ, and that did not do a thing. Okay, I'll take it back. It took two. And Al gets sacked. Good job. Oh, four verticals. So this is our last shot here. But since raining conditions has not been friendly to us. And got tipped away and we lose. Great. That means Rice is going to take it. Memphis did not take advantage.
Oh wait, they did. Crap. Crap. We need another score and fast. And there's JJ. Thanks, JJ. And why did I let my hand off the controller? But a first down, nonetheless. So at least we're killing the clock, which is good because I do not want to lose to Memphis, making them close to bowl, so close to bowl eligibility. And so far, it's been so far has been mostly mostly rice and picked off again. Great out, thank you. Hooray! Thank you. Hope you learned your lesson. Oh no, don't tell me we're gonna choke. Oh, we're choking, just like in the first time. But uh, now watch this. Is, uh, look at JJ. Oh, way to go, JJ. So right now, there you see JJ, and he failed. Uh oh. So a minute 26 left. So, so if we score a touchdown right now, we are guaranteed a victory. There's JJ Gert. That's great. Oh, one yard line. And ladies and gentlemen, I think right now this should be close to doing it, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of a scare for as for Memphis, a valiant effort at a comeback. But at this point, thanks to JJ, it is pretty much good as over. Now watch, they're going to tie it up again. Watch. Nope. And in fact, we get an option to score again to nail the coffin. So I got so Winston did, did, did give credit to, to a, a good effort by the Memphis Tigers. A valiant attempt at a comeback, but at this point, Winston is probably relieved he is leaving the stadium with a win. As the Owls do get the victory by the final score of 44-22. Or 44-28, excuse me. Do I missed. So a good effort by the Rice Owls. And they get their second win of the season. So the only thing we need is four more. And pretty much full eligibility is here. But I'm thinking this he'll maybe be the first coach ever to miss full eligibility. But actually... Actually, that was actually our next opponent is at Marshall. So let's take a look at their uh, the conference standings. We're probably near the bottom. We're probably near the bottom. Yep, we're right near the bottom. Two and three. And look at Houston. They're five and zero. Oh, so there's a slight chance. Tulsa's two and three. UTEP's three and two. Why I do not know. SMU is two and three. Tulane's one and three. So that's probably going to be an easy victory. And take a look at East. Marshall's 0-5, and, and my UAB Blazers are 0-4. So pretty much we got an easy victory. So if we could beat, if we beat Memphis, we just did. We can beat if we beat Marshall. That's gonna be putting us over at 500. But our next opponent that's Tulsa. So if we win that, we're four. Houston, we could possibly fall up, upset off there. UTEP is a possible. Army is another possibility. Tulane, that's a definite possible win, and SMU is there. So we may have a. Our chances of getting in are still good. But now it's time to do some recruiting here. But don't forget, we all we need is this one center, basically. So we have to pay attention to that department. As you can see, we already got David Hill is ready for a visit. He's ready for a visit, so we're going to set that up. We're going to set that up, and it'll be against 
Tulsa in two weeks. I'll send me to home. Yeah, take that, you are, Monroe. Early playing time. No, Monroe. Let's see. Television exposure. Oh. Yeah, take that, you are, Monroe. Yeah, well, that's enough for this week. So, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes episode 6. So we got a long way to go. We got, we still got a long way to go to wrap up this, the season for Winston Cos, But don't worry. We're going to do it exactly kind of like what I did with my coaching carousel in NCAA 13. Which that next episode will be coming tomorrow. And a possible Waylon Smith. There's another possible Waylon Smith. Uh, and also, for Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving week, I am possibly doing a coaching carousel marathon. But that is kind of up in the air right now. And so all your other favorite coaches, don't worry, they're not canceled. And Don Matafort is still around. Wait, that's in my My 4934 channel. Whoops. Yeah, don't worry. My 4934 series, those are still going on. Don't worry. So, here we go. Canceling the visits. Oh, shoot. Shoot. No, 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 no. Doggone it. I hit advance the championship week. Whoops. Dog on it. So we know what happened. They lost by six. So our next episode will be against Tulsa by accident. Whoops. So we're two and four. So we have to. So we. So we got Tulsa. Whoops. Oh, shoot. I do apologize. I wasn't paying attention. So they're three and three. Oh. Not good. And we take a look at the coach feedback saying, We lost to a lower ranked team. Yeah, great, thanks. Take a look at the top 25. I do apologize for that. I wasn't paying. Stanford's number one. Oh, boy. Maryland made it in, so possibly... So possibly at this point, he may take a... 7 no Heisman watch. Tanner and all these guys. And excuse me, you're supposed to be Cartman. That's it. Players of the week. Let's take a look at the players of the week at Conference USA last week. Let's see. Oh, no respect at all. So, pretty much the conference standing is Houston's now 6-0. Oh, at least we moved up. At least we moved up. So, join us next time, guys. We missed an episode with Tulane. So, that means in order to catch up, i got to have to do two back-to-back -back episodes of General Sherman to make it up. Well, that's what the plan is. So, see you guys next time, guys.